Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, ready to continue on with We the Revolution. If you did not see the first few episodes, the link is in the description below that will take you back to the beginning. This is my first look at this game, which just came out in the last week. Uh, it's my first time playing through, so expect me to make a lot of mistakes along the way as I learn my way through this. But I just wanted to give you a, a look at what the game is like. We are on to the big one. This is the trial of Louis Capet, Louis the Sixteenth, the king, the deposed king of France. So we are going to get into the trial here. And I'll be honest up front, uh, I know what the people want. The people want this guy to die. And it probably would be best for me as far as the game goes. But I tend to want to go with what is ahistorical in games. So I, I tend to choose what didn't happen historically. So I'm going to be hard-pressed to sentence him to the guillotine because I want to see what happens if I don't. So let's see what happens. He de tried to defend his absolute authority by plotting against the natural, National Constituent Assembly and the people of France. Of course, Bastille Day, he gathered an army, 15 foreign regiments, and uh, he took flight from the Tuileries on one night in June of 1791 using someone else's passport. Was he not heading to Montmédy, where his loyal armies were stationed, ready to take him to Austria? If it were not for Postmaster Dure, this scheme could have ended tragically for us. All right, let's talk about this. Louis Capet, I hereby open your trial. Answer the questions when asked. That's the name of my ancestors. My name is Louis Auguste de Bourbon. As king, I've never done a thing against my people. I don't know about that. There's evidence of his treason. He should be tried as a foreigner, an enemy, not as a citizen of the Republic. Questioning the defendant will stir the impatient audience. Once angered, the people may even start a riot. Well, that would be unfortunate. We don't want that. Okay, we've got to unlock some questions here. Let's talk a little bit about... Um, wow, this is tricky. There's a lot of choices here. All right, I want to talk to Postmaster Dure, the guy who found him. With the passport. All right, the Postmaster of saint Menhuld, Monsieur Le Judge. Did the accused introduce himself to the witness with his full name? No, he didn't introduce himself at all. He only produced someone else's document. So he tried to hide his identity. You could say so. I used the name from the documents after he showed them to me. He never objective, objected. Messenger from General Lafayette confirmed my suspicions. I ran as fast as I could. Was he acting like a defector? Was he nervous or in a hurry? He even found the time to jest. All right, that doesn't really tell me a whole lot. All right, so the jury is of the opinion of prison, barely. So, I mean, there, we've got to get to the, the real questions, though, the ones about uh, what he did with shooting civilians. Let's talk about that. Who gave the order to shoot the citizens gathered around the palace? I did, but it was not an order to attack. The guard's duty was only to respond if the citizens attacked. In that case, you should have ceased fire as soon as you escaped to the National Assembly with your family. It was chaos. I don't know about that. The jury's actually now on acquittal. The people are aggressive. Man, this is brutal. All right, defending his authority. Let's talk about that a little bit. What did you plan to do with the constituents' deputies? Nothing. The assembly that I joined on June 27th, I granted immunity to its members, and I intended to respect that. Uh, now we're back to jail. Interesting. No, not that. Okay. Yep, 
Either Marshal de Broglie or Baron de Bezenval. The one responsible should be the one standing here, as he was not authorized to issue such orders. People sometimes do stupid things. This is true. Man, we are back to acquittal. Now, here's the thing. There's no report on this one. So, there's really not a lot that I can do here to, uh, except just ask a bunch of questions. What else can we ask here? Is there an international plot? Who helped you suppress the revolution? Frederick Wilhelm II, Francis II, Catherine II, or maybe even your relative Charles IV. Nonsense, all of it. My only desire was to take my family out of Paris. I did not wish for them to suffer house arrest. I deny any such accusation. Okay. Liar! He'd sell his own mother, never mind his own country. Oh, boy. There's still five more questions. Let's talk about the fake passport. Oh, boy. I'm down to my last one now. Ugh. Yikes. All right, we got to choose wisely here. Uh, we're out of questions. Well, that kind of stinks. I've got to make a decision. The revolutionaries and the common folk want the death penalty. The jury wants prison. My family wants prison. Uh, I think we're going to go prison. That would be ahistorical. It would meet with what the jury expects. And it will still give me a little bit of favor with those folks. So I think that's what we'll go with. Oh boy. Wait, there's new evidence? I will go to them. I would ask you all to stay in your seats until I return. Oh boy. New evidence of his guilt. Of course there is. People, what vexes you? Why are you so angry? The king lied to us! That coward ran from us! He'll surely run from justice as well! We found proof of the king's treachery in his secret iron cabinet! Okay, so here's one of these again. What do we want to do? All right, so. He shall not escape justice. Aggression. The evidence from the Iron Cabinet will be examined. So we went aggression, manipulation, and humility. Okay. The king has been imprisoned. He will not escape a second time. If he tries, I will kill him with my own bare hands. Okay. We won't turn a blind eye to new evidence. We shall dutifully pursue each line of inquiry for the Republic and only for the Republic. I know that you might be angry. But you have chosen your representatives to protect you. Believe in me. Ah, success. Okay, very good. Well, that certainly helped out a little bit. It got two reputation, two influence, and plus five to the common folks endorsement. Back to Louis. It's true, evidence of Capet's guilt has been found. 
Would the defendant like to explain why he concealed his secure iron cabinet and the documents hidden within from the convention? Okay, so now what? Deputies of the so-called National Assembly are to be carefully questioned, and if any of them should display common sense and cease to support the Assembly, reward him with an extraordinarily high allowance and forward His Majesty's thanks. Yikes, that's not good for him. We trust that with God's grace and help, His Majesty will soon arrive with the Imperial Borders for us to grant His Majesty as well as our beloved sister safety. So that's talking about Marie Antoinette. So Leopold of Habsburg. So yeah. The Holy Roman Emperor. So the Duke of Brunswick, Lunenburg, Charles Wilhelm Ferdinand. Okay, so this is probably all not good for him at all. Is there anything else I can ask as far as questions go? Okay, we've still got... Let's talk about the letter from the Duke. Was the Swiss Guard going to help during the Duke's attack on Paris? No, they were only supposed to keep my family safe. Hmm, we're getting a little bit more angry here. And now even my family wants him to die. This is not going well. Letter from the Emperor. Let's talk about minister's order. I'm just going to try to unlock all of them here as best I can. There we go. We unlocked all the questions. Excellent. This should be helpful. You are aware of the plans of the Emperor and the Duke of Brunswick. Why did you not warn the National Assembly and the Army? Oh, man, now even the jury wants him to die. Now these two are going to move it back down. All right, so here's the thing. Do I... Oh, let's ask the one that we're not sure what's going to happen. Was the accused responsible for the attempts to bribe deputies of the assembly in order to abolish it? I did not sign that document. My intention was to put Minister Roland on trial for abusing his power. I kept the document for that occasion. Ooh. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Senior humorless joke was taken quite seriously. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's going to go to the guillotine. To return order to France. I do not know the plans of Emperor Leopold, but I know that I would never allow anyone to spill French blood. Okay. Jury wants him to die. Common folk, my family, and the revolutionaries want him to die, and the people are about to riot. Okay, so that'll make everybody really unhappy if I do anything but sentence him to death. Unfortunately, that's what we're going to do. I really hate going with the historical thing, but they really want that to go this way. So I have a feeling if I hadn't sentenced him to death, it'd probably be me that would be next. All right, now we do need to report... Did he confess to the crime? No. Was his act counter-revolutionary in nature? Yes. According to the defendant, why did the emperor write him letters? He feared for the life of his sister, Marie Antoinette. Why did Citizen Capet not warn the National Assembly about the Duke of Brunswick's plans? He did not consider the threat to be serious. I think I'm right on all of those. Let's find out. Uh. Yes, four out of four. Good job. 
So if things are finally looking up, this is the first decent day I've had. Unfortunately, it comes at the expense of King Louis. But, hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. Not really a lot I can do about that. Sorry, Louis. Let's look at the hierarchy. It looks like I unlocked some more stuff. Oh, Burrell's dead. That's right. Robespierre's the guy eventually we're going to go after. Okay, here we go. Do they understand? Their excitement was stronger than the smell of the fresh wood the guillotine was made from. Do they know what's about to happen? Sheep that only now realize they used to have fangs and claws. One thought guides their clenched fists. To bow before the new, uncompromising idol with his shining steel crown. I too have felt their eyes on me, just like him. A silent assistant in this ritual of new faith. A random acolyte, scared, doubtful. Will not the old gods seek vengeance for this treachery? He abandoned them all too easily. I was unable to understand their screams. I only tasted the stench of their sweaty bodies. But I could hear one thing perfectly. Bring us the king. Oh boy. I've got to try and speak to these people. Yeah, maybe skipping the speech is the way to go this time. I feel like these people are not going to hear anything I say. We're just going to let this one go. Don't make me pull the rope. Oh, I have to. Well, my family should be happy with me this team. This time. I must be dreaming. Is that the map from the Muggler case? You stole evidence from the court? Found a use for it. All right. Consider it a gift. Now take it and try not to talk so much. You should be more concerned about the events with the king because his whole situation seems peculiar. As your superior, I should be the one judging Louis's case. I fail to understand why Robespierre asked for your assistance. Are you jealous? You jelly, Raymond? Yeah, I'd rather somebody else would have been put in charge of that one. Sorry. You have to sound so defeated. My husband is a renowned person now. We should be happy about it. No, because it's only a matter of time before they turn the guillotine on me, just like they did on Robespierre in real life. Okay, so my wife, not so happy with me, but everybody else is somewhat happy with me. So, um, We could work on tomorrow's trial. More question effects in court. Uh, Bernard's music... Interest not extend, uh, withstanding, he needs to learn some more perspective skills, and law can be an art in its own right. The demonstration. So none of these are going to get me in good with my wife, unfortunately, and she's kind of the one that is most unhappy with me at the moment. Let them see real life up close. All right, we're going to take the sons to a demonstration. Yeah, he's not happy with me about that. And, of course, my wife isn't, but whatever. Nothing pleases her. On to day seven, Liberté. I feel like act one might be coming to a close. I don't know exactly how long it is, but we'll see. People have... 
sh- shrugged the invisible burden off their backs. The street seemed more peaceful. Even the windows of the courthouse were soon replaced. Well, I guess that's good. I got another trial here. Dear Citizen Fidele, I'm writing to congratulate you on becoming a part of our country's history. Citizen Capet's trial is on everyone's lips. I would also like to discuss the important topic of appointing the new commander-in-chief of the National Guard, who will replace Citizen Burrell. It is my honest belief that I am the best candidate. Should you give me your permission, I would like to pay you a visit this evening. I feel like I should not be involved in that decision. I I just don't know how that would go well. Hey, so the good news is people want acquittal on this one. Well, at least some people do. Let's find out what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. All right, case file. Bruno Hugo, 26, is a groom working for the wealthy and influential aristocrat Jean-Claude de Jacquemart. During a quarrel, he was seen to push his employer down the stairs, resulting in the aristocrat's death. It is significant for the case that due to his origin and low intellect, Bruno Hugo is known to the local community as the village idiot. Witness testified that he returned from a ride displeased with the way Bruno had prepared his horse. The saddle became loose and he almost fell from his mount. He called for Bruno to scold him, began insulting and physically abusing the stable boy when, in acting on an impulse, Bruno pushed his employer away. He landed on the foot of the stairs with a twisted neck. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Let's talk to witnesses. Oh, no. Wrong one. Okay. This is a simple case. The accused is guilty of murder, and the only problem is that people feel sorry for him. Yeah, I don't know that it's murder. I'm Bruno Hugo. Do you admit to the murderer? Yes and no. But I... It wasn't really murder. Seems more like it might have been self-defense. I don't know. All right, let's think about this one a little bit. All right, are there witnesses? No, there's not. My goodness. This is tough. I'm just not sure how much evidence I'm going to get out of this one. All right, at least we got two questions so far. Let's go there. I do not know what I did wrong. I don't understand. These people wanted me to come here, so I came. I meant no harm to anybody. I want to go back to the horses. I don't know if they've eaten today. Yeah, he's definitely kind of slow. He was good to me. Sometimes he shouted, but he fed me and was good to the horses. Oh, boy. So the jury's opinion is acquittal. I want to look and see what the questions are. Uh, He didn't really confess to it. His act wasn't... Well, I guess it technically was counter-revolutionary. What was the reason behind the argument? Does he understand the indictment? No. All right, we got a few questions left that we can ask here. Oh, this is tough. Nah, I'm out of questions. Well, I guess I got one more. All right, at least we got one more question. All right, we get to call in another guy. Introduce yourself, state your duties. The major domo at the residence of the family. I saw exactly what happened. Started shouting, tugging, and pulling at him. Bruno pushed Citizen away, causing him to fall down the stairs they were both standing on. Oh, that actually makes it more toward acquittal. Okay. I feel like I've got enough, but I should at least try to be thorough here.
Ugh. Okay. I think we're going to stop right there, because... I mean, obviously, revolutionaries aren't going to like it when I quit this guy, but I feel like I've got enough. He did not confess. Uh, I guess it was kind of revolutionary in nature. Loose saddle. He does not understand the indictment. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to get all four of those right or not. Yes? No? Maybe? Oh, we don't get to see that until we do the verdict. Acquittal. All right. Stupid revolutionaries, man. Nothing makes them happy. Am I going to have to go out and speak to these people again? All right, so it wasn't counter-revolutionary, but okay. Yeah, the revolutionaries, they never liked me anyway. All right, let's see what's next, and then we'll, I think, wrap up this episode. We're probably going to have to do something to get along with the revolutionaries here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be that happy to endorse his candidacy because then when it goes badly, it's going to come back on me. I want to stay the heck out of it. Eh, boy. About you being an addict should be put to an end. Know that I never forget those who have done me a favor. Words, words, words. I will not retract my wife's promises, but in the future, make sure you come to me first. Oh, man, we're going to let this stand? Okay. I should probably do something to get along with my wife at some point, I guess. Yeah, let's do this. Reading together. There's nothing like sitting with your family with a good book next to a warm fire, even though some may think it is dull. Now my older son didn't like it too much. But I'm finally at least on decent terms with my wife. My, my youngest son, man, he loves me. All right. Oh, my gosh. What is happening here? Decapitation still has not lost its charm since the beginning of the revolution. A group of people were gathered in a Parisian street surrounding something on the floor. Your prestigious position allowed you to make your way to the center of the mob only to find a man's severed head. What had caught everyone's attention was the head's facial expression. It was grinning. It was so unusual the crowd stared hypnotized for no apparent reason. You wonder if anyone had thought to ask about the rest of the corpse. A lone severed head should definitely cause curiosity, even if for purely scientific reasons. And now you are staring alongside everybody else. Um, order the guard to get rid of the head? All right, we'll do that. The smiling head was removed and the people dispersed. That's Paris. Common folks didn't like that, apparently. Okay. All right, are we on to Act 2 yet, or is it still Act 1? Ah, oh, there's a map. A Paris of a new era. Weak, vulnerable to attacks. Waiting for someone to reach for power. Waiting for someone who, once again, will take control of its soul. The pawns are now in play. Recent days have proven that Paris can win. That France can win. We managed to overcome our past. Alright, so... We have an opportunity to leave yet another mark. Sections of Paris. Each section can be trolled by you, by an enemy, or be neutral. Each section you take over produces you, provides you with one point of additional influence. The chance of a mission success is higher in your territory. Interesting. This got a whole lot more complicated now.
Send agents on missions, manage unruly crowds, and fight for the influence over the city. Click on an agent and choose the action you wish them to carry out. Bruiser is good at fighting, gaining reputation, and managing unruly crowds. The diplomat nurtures relations with factions, lowers fervor in sections, weaker in duels against enemy agents. Okay, interesting. I guess we got to scout these areas first, no? Jacques Louis David. So fervor's low there, so that's good, I guess. How do we scout these areas? Oh, we got to take over an enemy section. Let me look around this a little bit. All right, so we can lower the crowd's fervor in the current section that we're in. Oh, boy. Interesting. The more sections under your control, the faster the monument is constructed. Each subsequent stage of completion allows you to take over another building near the monument. Crazy. That looks good. Now we got to put our stamp on it, our seal. Okay, buildings. Each building lets you perform a different kind of action. Take over the ones that support your play style. Man, this is getting intense now. Uh, residence, printing house, hideout. Uh, so residence is the only one that's unlocked at the moment. And this is where we can start to spend some of our points, I guess. I spend some more time with my family. Okay. How do we unlock new ones? We can't seize these buildings yet. All right. So I can see this is going to take a good long while because there's a lot of sections here. And there's a lot going on. So this is the people. I guess they're pretty friendly here. Now we're working on this section here. We got to give this guy a job. Let's send him over here. So he's going to work on unlocking that section for me. I guess eventually it's going to come down to me and Robespierre, no? All right, so we're going to scout these two sections here. Let's see what happens with that. I guess there's not a lot else that can be done right now. All right, so we had to move. I moved Jacques-Louis David back over to this section here, and we're going to get him working on taking over that section. And that will be the end of the day. So we're going to wrap it up right there as we go into day eight of Act One. Obviously, a lot more is going to be happening now with all of these new wrinkles, these new layers to the game with the map and the factions and the I'll taking over the of sections. Let's see what a happens here. prologue announced by a flowing red curtain. The wrath of strangers made me sick to my stomach. Feet stirred dark puddles. The air tasted like iron. Their heads, someone cried. Anger hidden in the shadows. Thousands of cries from a single throat. Here was a beast with hundreds of claws and teeth. A kicked, abused, and physically wounded soul. Their heads. What a cold and urgent order. The beast's eyes showed a long disguised bitterness. Yesterday's envy. It has waited too long to show mercy now. Too long covering its ears while others laughed at its inadequacies and feebleness. The beast's bark was filled with a thousand smiles of those who worship this bloody morning. The day when their enemies will perish. Their brothers.
All right, we're going to stop right there before we get into this next trial. And uh, as always, hey, let me know your thoughts. As I mentioned, I am new to this. This is my first time playing through, so expect me to make mistakes along the way. But uh, I'm curious to know your thoughts. Obviously, it's kind of a slow-moving thing because it's story-driven, so I don't know how entertaining it is coming across uh, to you, the viewer, but hopefully you're enjoying it as I am. So thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.